Tell me about the ant story. So I had this place I used to go lay down in the mountains. Mm -hmm. And uh, read or get a little sun or something, some kind of rest. And uh, I, uh, I went there this one time and I threw out this old piece of uh, uh, carpet I had up there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it kind of landed on some of the leadership of the ants coming out of their hole. Off to, it was off to the side. I, I didn't think I got them much you know i know i just bruised them or something but uh, they got upset about it and so i figured i'd ignore them you know and uh, mm -hmm. but so i laid down and uh, they started getting all over me and i've had that happen i had like a hundred ants get on me before and uh, you know they just searched all over my body looking for something to eat and then they just Ooh. left you know but wow. this time, they was evidently mad. I must have thrown that carpet right on a king or something, you know. Oh. And uh, so they got all of them in my body, and there's like a thousand of them anyway, you know, all over my body, climbing around. And uh, then they started slowly biting. Oh. And uh, they... Uh, well, they, they slowly increased the biting, and so I had to uh, start fighting them off. And um, they would, st they got some kind of stick them on them where they would stick to each hair. Mm -hmm. And I'd have to take an individual ant off of each hair. Wow. And uh, that was something. Yeah, and that would then, be uh, something. It was all over my body, and they went for my neck. Oh. They went for my neck, and there was like hundreds of them around my neck, all the way around my neck. Wow. And uh, they started biting. You know, and I didn't figure they could do much even then, you know. I wasn't getting too upset about it. Yeah. They'd flick a few off a bit hard or something. But then, it got harder and harder, and, you know, I could tell, like, Somebody in charge of those ants was uh, <laughs> calling up some more ants. Oh, really? And um, More troops, huh? Yeah, more troops. So wow. Big, big enemy, we got to knock him down. And so, um, let's see, they just kept coming and uh, kept biting on my neck. And finally, I, I started seeing this a green color, sort of like this fly swatter. Yeah? And that's... All I could see was this green color after a while. Wow. Like the inside of a plant. And um, so I was feeling a little weird by then. They was uh, shooting a poison in me or something, you know, and uh, wow. trying to knock me down, you know, and finish hmm. me off or something, you know. And uh, so I, I had to go to war against them then, you know. Uh -oh. So I started really knocking them off and getting serious, you know. But uh, they was uh, a foe to be reckoned with. Wow. And uh, they kept on attacking anyway. And uh, so I kept on fighting anyway. And this fight went on for a long time, you know, 30 minutes, probably <laughs> 30 minutes at least. And uh, I was debating to run all the way down to the creek and jump in, you know. Yeah. But I didn't, so because I figured I might fall or something, because it was so annoying. And uh, so I stayed there and fought them off. <laughs> and uh, finally, I got them pretty well all off, you know. Then I was afraid about going to bed that night. The camp, <laughs> my campsite was, you know, ten feet from there. Yeah. And I thought they'd be coming to visit me at night, maybe, you know, because they was really mad, you know. I've never seen ants get mad like that. <laughs> and so, uh, I, so I worried them. a little bit about that, but then I forgot about it. And they didn't ever bother me no more, so it was okay. Wow. But I used to take and put my feet where I seen a big nest of ants like. I'd put my feet right in the nest, you know. And, and they'd sting or bite, whatever they do, you know. But my feet don't have much feeling, so it didn't matter much, you know. But I thought it might actually help my feet, you know. Really? 
but it didn't so <laughs> but I did that a few different times but the ants are they're really smart you know they um look what they do with all the stuff they gather up they make compost out of it mm -hmm. and then they make some kind of food out of it yeah and they can lift like a hundred times their weight something like that and they just uh, you know if we could just learn how to make food like they do you know mm -hmm. we could get a whole lot stronger That's so true. I'm putting you in charge of that task <laughs> I'll get right on it. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, I bet it wouldn't be too hard, you know, to figure it out, really, you know. They're just letting all these different kind of little critters, the bugs that they gather, wings of a butterfly and all the things they gather all day. Yeah. And they put it in their compost pile. I remember seeing a program about that. And, huh. Uh, ants do a lot of things. They, um, there's one tree that they think the ants are actually born into the tree somehow. Oh. And the ants guard sections of the tree where the sweet things are, you know, like, uh, flowers that are going to make nuts or something on a tree. Uh-huh. And they, they guard that, that whole area. And they, so they just live there, like, their whole life guarding that area, you know? Wow. And, uh, I don't know, I think that's pretty amazing, you know, all the that things is. that all the critters are doing out there. Yeah. Plenty amazing. That's pretty incredible. Yeah, it really is. I still remember that, that color, you know, that I say, seeing green, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's such a, it's a lighter color than this. If you ever took a plant stem apart and looked at it through the sun, you know, it's mm -hmm. that kind of color. And, uh, oh beautiful color and so I always thought well maybe they wasn't trying to uh, kill me maybe they was uh, trying to make me smarter or something hmm. but I'll never know <laughs> I don't think I want to find out so. you're not gonna go back huh <laughs> no I'm not gonna mess with them ants no more <laughs> I think I learned my lesson with them too yeah what is all the little critters are so smart you know, it's just so amazing seen the dragonflies you know what they're like dragonflies oh yeah i go down to that creek pond so much down by the falls that i started recognizing the uh the dragonflies and they started mm. recognizing me and they'd fly by me like this and they go like that with the wing they go just like saying hi you know uh -huh. and, uh, i wave at them or something you know all them little critters, if you're out there long enough, they all get to know you. Because <clears throat> they, like right now, there's probably hundreds of eyes at least on us, you know, from mm -hmm. little bugs sitting on a leaf over there, and birds here and there. And they're all looking at you, seeing what you're doing, you know. And yeah. It, it's really cool. I remember seeing this, uh, pelican out in the ocean. I bet I told you that one. Huh? I don't know. The pelican had, he was out there gagging. It's out about a block in the ocean. And he was gagging. He, he'd swallowed too much fish. And oh. It was stuck in his throat, you know. And uh, <laughs> so I noticed there was a bunch of seagulls all back over my head like this. And all over there and over there. And they all started traveling toward that pelican, you know. <laughs> they were going to get some of that fish when he coughed it up. You know? So, figure how many eyes. Just when I thought about that, I thought about how many eyes you got on you all the time, you know. Yeah. And them little insects, you know, they got brains too, just mm -hmm. like everything else. Not only that, but trees and all of it, you know. It's all got intelligence. Yeah. And it's. What's this? There's Naomi something. There's a Indian woman that talks about that. You ever heard of I don't Naomi know. Parsons? Or Naomi something. Naomi Watts? I don't know if that's it or not. But what she talks about, she, she says like everything thinks, everything is alive, everything is, you know, on and on she goes about how the animals think and 
how they're all special too, you know. We treat them like dirt, you know. We treat them yeah. awful. Just kill them, get them out of our way, you know. I don't kill the ants or nothing, you know, if I can't. I mean, what I've been doing lately, if there's too many ants, I just, I can't. I don't. <laughs> I do. You know, it's just, I figure you got to get some good protein and minerals. Oh, you eat the ants? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Even now? Yeah, even yeah. now. Yeah. What about the flies? No, I don't eat them. Just the ants, okay. Yeah, flies, uh, sit around and eat the poo. I'm not going for that. You know, <laughs> but what else is there? There's something else I eat. It's oh. <clears throat> When the tick fever was going around, if you heard about that, you probably had it in this state. Yeah. Tick fever. Well, every time uh, I'd get a tick on me, I'd eat that. You know? Really? Yeah. So I figure, you know, when they give you a shot, they're making an immunity mm -hmm. for uh, ticks and whatever. For polio or whatever, they get a shot for it, right? Yeah. And it's uh, made out of the virus that's given it to you. So, mm -hmm. so if you ate the tick, you know, it'd give you some kind of immunity, I, I would think. Yeah. Know? So. I never thought of eating a tick. <laughs> hmm. Well, the only thing that made me think about it was this, a few different dogs we had on a ranch, and they would eat them. They'd get really? mad at them, you know. Oh. And they'd crunch them up and eat them and swallow <laughs> them, you know. <laughs> but I figured there must be a reason for that, you know. So you just did what the dogs did, followed their lead. I did. Yeah. I even used to drink out of uh, bad pond water that they drank out of, you know, because yeah. I wanted to be immune to that too, you know. Oh. I'm lucky I'm alive at all, you can <laughs> see that, you know. <laughs> but ants, I had a friend when I was a kid and he'd eat every bug he saw, you know. Really? Turn over logs and eat this spider, that bug, whatever, he'd just eat them all up. We had a guy at the ranch was telling us he was a ant eater, and hmm. uh, he was telling us how he did it. He'd take down like a long stick, skinny stick, or a, like just a pencil, and set it right where the ants were really heavy in the line, mm -hmm. and they'd go up over it, you know, and they'd be crawling along that, and they'd just go like that, you know. And he'd and, eat the ants. Yeah. Hmm. When you think about it, it might have really been a good thing. You know? Yeah. You're getting uh, probably all the immunities that the ants have against different things mm -hmm. that they have against bugs of all different kinds and hmm. whatever. And you're getting little bits of protein. Yeah. All Hopefully kinds you don't of... get bit though. Huh? Hopefully that they don't bite your mouth while they're going down. Well, I don't think they can. Hmm. But. I don't know, but it's kind of interesting, you know, doing, I mean, life is interesting. And to pass up, you know, we got anteaters, giant anteaters, eat millions of them, you know, I guess. Yeah. You know, and of course, they ain't ultra super strong either from that, so I have hmm. thought that one out too, so. I don't know, they've got big claws though. That's These true. Giant claws for yeah. digging, they dig in the... The ant piles and they yeah. suck up the ants. Yeah. That's, that's kind of a neat way to live when you think about it, you know. Yeah. I don't know how, what kind of problem they have raising their young and stuff like that. Well, they get they, encroached on by man. Yeah. All of their, their territory gets yeah. taken down. Yeah. Every single critter has been encroached by man. Mm-hmm. They just take their territory and say, this is mine, you're dead. Hmm. Just kill yeah. everything. <laughs>